have a special video for you. Now, normally I'll be talking to you on the walk right now, but now I'm on land. So today we have a Gomex's carbon fiber steering wheel. So as you saw in the last video, we're at iCast and managed to get Gomex's as our sponsor. So today we're gonna install their new carbon fiber steering wheel and test it out. So let's go. All right, everyone. So now at the helm, we're gonna start the installation of the full carbon fiber steering wheel with Gomex's. So to start off, we have to remove the old steering wheel. First, you're gonna need some masking tape to protect the chrome plated nut on your existing steering wheel. Second, you're gonna need the wrench of the right size to large pocket. All right, let's go. Okay, so first we're gonna start off taking the masking tape and mask off the entire nut. Start off with every single side. Just like that. Doesn't have to be pretty, you know, just cover this up. And now we can take a wrench. Alright, so we're gonna do our wrench. We're going to stick it in and put it on the bottom. This side, right? Hold it on. Right. Now it's supposed to loose. We can unscrew the nut. Let's see that we have a nut removed. So with this steering wheel, it's about two years old now, so it's going to be a little stiff. So you can just use, find any tool that's thin enough to slide in between the actual piston unit and the steering wheel. Use that gap, just stick it in, work it in, and start prying up. There we go. The thing has popped off. As you can see, there's a slight bit of corrosion there, which is what lead led to the tightness. But now it's removed. We can clean this up with some just some wipes. All right, so now we have the old bulky, heavy metal steering wheel off. We can finally install brand new full carbon fiber steering wheel. You know, just in comparison, this thing is way lighter than this. As you can see, passing this is very light. You know, very maneuverable. With this, much heavier, very bulky. And one nice thing about this full black carbon fiber steering wheel is that with a black steering wheel, you won't have much reflection as much as a chrome plate of steering wheel. So first as an install, we're going to have to take the cover plate off of this thing. So what we're gonna do, we can take a little screwdriver and through the hole right here and just pop it off. There we go. Now with this off, we can start installing this. All right, so with the cap popped off, we can hop it off and align this hole over here, this little slot. There's a slot on the actual piston. Slide it right in. Make sure to push it all the way down. Okay, so with it relatively on, we're going to go in our set of nuts provided by Gomexis and just see which one matches up with our existing thread. As you see, there's multiple sides in here. And we're just gonna test them out. All right, with the correct nut identified, we're gonna start off just screwing on by hand. And now because of how this is a cover design, we're going to come in with a socket for this socket. Alright, so now with the steering wheel installed and the nut tightened, we're going to take our Gomex's cover and align it so that way the bottom spoke is visible longer. Push it in, and there we go. Brand new carbon fiber steering wheel. And as you can already see, the reflection is much less. There's less surface area for you to reflect upon and this beautiful spinning handle. Absolutely gorgeous. Very smooth. Everything's working great back there. Overall, very awesome product. And I'll see you in the next video.